you know I love a hedge, but what about if you planted out your whole block as a hedge and then it becomes a maze? Well, it'd be truly amazing. Technically, I have no idea where I am, but I know I'm halfway between Devonport and Cradle Mountain in an area called the Promised Land, because when the first Europeans came here, this looked like the Promised Land to them. I think I need to go back that way. What I'm trying to do is find the creator and the mastermind behind this amazing maze. Oh, at last I found someone. Ah. Oh, How are you? I'm good. Well, I'm lost. Now, you're the crackpot behind doing all of this, is that right? So they accuse me of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What set you off? No, Laurel and Hardy. Laurel and Hardy? I love Laurel and Hardy. Yeah. Now, is it crackpot because you're a bit of a crackpot, or is there a story behind that too? No, no. I was looking for a name. So I went through this um, book of towns in England and got to see, and here was crackpot. And what makes you happiest about it now, like all these years later? Everybody in the whole world enjoys it. That's a mad statement, I know. But it's designed for the inner child, and everybody's inner child is the same. You can be 80 years old and your eight-year-old kid is still in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Still having fun. Honest. Yeah. Well, if I hear you sobbing and crying, I'll come looking for you. <laughs> Bye! See ya. So it was to the right here. Oh. Yeah, you lost already. <laughs> Everyone scrambled. <laughs> the kitchen sink handed the dead end. <laughs> this maze here is called the Confusion Maze, which I think is like saying 25 scoops of ice cream with a ton of chocolate topping on it is bad for you. In other words, the bleeding obvious. And that one over there, well, it's an exact copy of what you'll see at Hampton Court Palace in the United Kingdom. This one here is actually a different plant. It's a Chinese honeysuckle. It's clipped really nicely. It's got all those beautiful shapes to it. I think I might admire it rather than walk in it. No, no, split up. It's more fun when you split up. And when you finally get out of the mazes and you need to clear your head, there is the town of Lower Crackpot. It's got famous buildings named after famous people. Kathy Freeman came here for a visit and she agreed that they could build a little stadium and a house for her. Here's one that reflects my life. It's upside down. And every substantial city around the world has to have a chief broadcaster and a, a main television network. And at Lower Crackpot, it's the family network. You've got the giant maze, you've got the other smaller mazes, you've got the town of Crackpot, you've got the embassies of the world. But the best thing about it is the whole time you've you got a smile on your face. You see the kids running around having fun and you just reflect and you remember what it was like and the fact that you are still a little kid.